To ensure food security, the government aims to increase potato production from 1.6 million tons to 2.5 million tons by 2022 through private-public partnerships. This is according to the government's Big Four agenda. Over 90% of the potato produced in the country is meant for wear and nearly all of it is done using recycled seeds. This has in turn resulted to poor yields and low quality potatoes. Over the years, farmers have been grappling with a shortage of clean potato seeds affecting production of the crop. But this should be a thing of the past as more and more farmers engage in potato seed multiplication. Calro has been on the forefront on this to make sure farmers are using clean certified seeds. The open days normally is to enable people to appreciate what Calro is doing, how we develop our materials, how we, we even develop the seed uh, propagation, how we multiply the seed so that they can know and understand the high technical uh, aspects of our generation of the different varieties. Uh, because normally people don't know and then they don't appreciate. They, they'll just see a variety out there with the farmers, but they don't even know where it came from. And uh, sometimes we are working with seed companies. They think it is the seed company that is giving them the seed. And so Calro does not get uh, any credit for it. Yet most of the work and activities on research and development of those varieties, or even the breeds, is coming from, from Calro. So this is just one way of uh, making sure that farmers know, like now when you walk around, you are seeing uh, variety development, different varieties, and even dealing with some of the national problems, like now the potato seeds nematode, you are able to, uh, to appreciate, because it's a serious problem. But now you can appreciate what we are doing and uh, some of the promising technologies which our farmers really need to begin to pick up and uh, also even the seed multiplication that we are doing the rapid mul multiplication to ensure that farmers are actually getting clean seed because some of the seed farmers plant are already having either diseases or now uh, pests and other problems. And so when they plant, they only multiply the problem. Potatoes were introduced to East Africa by British farmers in the 1880s and ever since then, the popularity has earned its second place in the most consumed food crops in Kenya after maize. Potatoes are also the fourth most farmed crop in the world. One medium-sized potato provides about half your daily requirements of vitamin C. In spite of its popularity, potato farmers continue to deal with the challenges of low production due to lack of knowledge and access to certified potato seeds. Farming for wear is not the only way farmers can benefit economically from the crop. It is not for the faint-hearted though, as James Nderui, a certified potato seed producer in Old Jororok, in Nyandarwa County recounts what made him to opt to do seeds. I started the farming in 2018, but my main idea was to do wear production, that is market potatoes. But upon sourcing certified seed, I couldn't get certified seed. So I saw a major uh, deficit there was a huge demand for seed, which was not uh, with no supply. So I saw it a viable opportunity to start uh, seed production. It's a viable idea, business idea, but you have to have patience because you have to wait more than a year so that you can start doing your sales. And uh, it, it requires, again, patience because uh, there is a lot of process before you are, uh, you, you are certified by KFIS. You should go through color, then you are certified by KFIS. Uh, getting certification from KFIS, it's a vigorous process because it requires several visits by the KFIS officers. Not one, not twice, not thrice so that your soil sample can be taken for soil testing. And uh, upon production, we have to come one or twice in between the production. I do source my original seed, which is rooted at cuttings from either color 
or other agents who do rooted apical cuttings. Then from there, upon doing the first harvest, I have to replant again the produce. The second harvest, I have to replant again. That is the second gen up to the second generation, so that I can start uh, doing the sales. Uh, the process takes time because you can't do the sales uh, from the first harvest because that is too rich. So you have to increase the yield within the first generation or the second generation. That is basic. You go to C1, you can sell it at C2. James is a small-scale producer and his challenges are different from the large-scale producers like Kisima Farm in Meru County. The farm initially focused on arable crops such as wheat and barley. The investors soon noticed that farmers from the region mainly cultivated potatoes, but the production was very low. In 2009, they decided to venture into certified potato seed production to help farmers from the region and beyond improve their crop production. The project started on 4 hectares of land but has since increased to the current 105 hectares which is purely dedicated to potato seed production. The lack of certified seeds is further amplified by poor soils in the potato growing zones, diseases and pests which farmers are sometimes unable to treat. Farmers can solve this problem by adapting crop rotation but it is then hindered by the limitation of farm size. We are focusing on uh, seed delivery, uh, looking at ways in which the private investors can get uh, uh, increasingly involved in, uh, in, 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 in seed production so that farmers get to access uh, certified and quality seed more easily and affordably. So that we are doing through promotion of private-public partnerships, through MOUs and understandings, uh, where CARO provides varieties and those companies uh, invest in to, to, to produce and sell to farmers. Another way is uh, getting out to the county governments that have prioritized this value chain and engage with them in terms of addressing the concerns of the value chain wherever they may be in those specific counties. They are overarching concerns but in some counties you find they put emphasis on different points like aggregation centers for example to easen marketing and disposal of produce by the farmers. Currently, many farmers grow the Shangi variety, which is easily available and marketable, has short dormancy and matures faster. Most of them remain adamant to try other new varieties like the Dutch Robin, Sherekea, Unica and Kenya Mpia. Kisima Farm currently focuses on the production of 18 different potato varieties. The varieties are sourced from both local and international breeders. Locally, that is uh, the varieties that uh, breeders, uh, we, 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 we get them locally through Karo Rotigoni as our breeder and uh, CIP. So CIP is a potato, International Potato Council. Uh, we get, we get uh, Sherekea from them, Shangi, Dutch Robin, uh, we also Get Asante, we have uh, Unica, those are the, the, the varieties from uh, local breeders. But we also have our local, our, our, our other breeder in, uh, in the Netherlands, known as HZPC. That is our breeder and which has come in very strongly with uh, very good varieties, such as uh, uh, good for crisps, for processing, good for processing, such as uh, uh, Challenger, Panamera, we have Zarina, we have Voyager, we have uh, Taurus, we also have Sagita, Farida, we also, th these, are, these are some of these varieties are good, are good for chips and others are good for crisps. Like Taurus is uh, mainly for chip, for crisps. But Panamera Voyager, pa uh, Challenger, 
Sagita, Farida, those are especially for, for, for chips. Around here now we have the Sangi. Before you used to have the Tigoni. After the Tigoni they brought the Sangi. And right now we have known that there is another one called the uh, Shangilia, Kenya Mpia, and also Kenya Karibu, which they are saying it's a good variety that is doing well here. Shangi has been very well. It has been producing and producing a lot. Like once, one, if you pull out one stem, you can even get 17 or, or about uh, 18 uh, 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 potatoes, tumors, yes. Tigoni also, when it first came, it also had the same thing. But I think after going, uh, planting it more and more, it goes reducing. So now, now that we have the Sangi, which came about uh, not long ago, it's not very old. It came after the Tigoni. Now that is what I'm seeing as if the potato people have brought the new varieties that we have, Shangilia, Kenyampia. So we are also going to try the same thing. There are four types of seeds. Certified seeds are those recommended for use. Clean seeds are good for use but lower in quality compared to the certified seeds as they have not been inspected for diseases. Then there are the positively selected seeds which the farmer picks while the crop is still on the farm on the basis of how the plant crop looks. Lastly, there is the farmer's seeds which are the small tubers collected by the farmer from his harvest for the next planting season. We will take a short break now. Keep it KTM Farmers TV.